Good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer on today, Friday, October the 22nd. It's really good to have you joining me this morning, and I'm going to be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer today. O oh Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The psalm that is set for this morning is Psalm 107, and I'm going to be reading verses 1 to 15. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth for ever. Let them give thanks whom the Lord hath redeemed and delivered from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They went astray in the wilderness out of the way and found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. So they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the city where they dwelt. Oh, that men would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness, and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. For he satisfieth the empty soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being fast bound in misery and iron, because they rebelled against the words of the Lord and lightly regarded the counsel of the Most Highest. He also brought down their heart through heaviness. They fell down, and there was none to help them. So when they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, he delivered them out of their distress. For he brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death and break their bonds in sunder. Oh, that men would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness and declare the wonders that he doeth for the children of men. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading today is taken from the first chapter of the book of Tobit, or from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 35, verses 20, to chapter 36, verse 10. But I'm going to continue now with the Te Deum. 
We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading set for this morning is from John's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 16 to 22. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, and because I go to the Father. They said therefore, What is this that he saith? A little while. We cannot tell what he saith. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said, A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me? Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. And ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish, for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, 
For he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O almighty and most merciful God, of thy bountiful goodness, keep us, we beseech thee, from all things that may hurt us, 
that we, being ready in both body and soul, may cheerfully accomplish those things that thou wouldst have done. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we come to you this morning and we bring our town. We bring the people who live here and all of the people who work here. We bring to you the churches in our town. as they work together to bring the gospel and the kingdom into the world here. We pray for all of those who are unwell at the moment those who are waiting treatment at the hospital, for some it's been a long wait. Those who've recently received devastating diagnosis. We ask that you would be with them to encourage them. We pray for all of those we know who are struggling through various treatments, especially treatment for cancer at the moment. And we ask that the treatments may bring healing. Father, we bring to you the staff of the hospitals, uh, GP surgeries, all those who care for the sick, asking that you will give them patience, energy, that you will guide them to be able to diagnose what is wrong and help them point patients in the right direction for the right treatment. And Father, we pray for our schools as the children get ready to break up for half term. We pray for the teachers We ask that you would bless them all in this, their time off. Give them a really good break, that they are ready to return to school, both to teach and to learn.
and father still high up in our minds is the awful killing last week of Sir David Amos in our neighbouring town of Leoncy. Father, we pray for David's family, for his wife and his children. We pray that you would bring each of them comfort in their sorrow and their loss. We pray for all of those who worked with him, especially those who work closely with him. Those who were there with him on Friday. And Father, out of this awful thing, this sad thing, we ask that you may show each of us hope. We pray that good may come out of this. We pray for the people of Southend, the people of Lee, the people of Belfast Methodist Church, where, where it happened. Just take the shock away and enable people to learn from this and continue. We pray for all of those in the public eye, those who are afraid now. We ask that you would enable them to continue to do their work amongst the people where they live. And Father, we also remember all others who mourn who have lost loved ones recently. We ask that you would bring them your comfort and strengthen them for the days ahead. We know, Father, that you have all people in your care. We thank you for this, as we thank you for hearing our prayers this morning, which we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you all for joining me this morning. It's been lovely having you praying alongside me. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Goodbye.